President Biden pledged the federal government would pay to replace the key bridge. Now, as WMAR 2 News' Jeff Hager reports, Maryland is using a unified approach to ensure that it happens. Fully reopening the Port of Baltimore and rebuilding the Francis Scott Key Bridge are the goals. And Maryland's federal delegation is crafting a bill in Washington to make sure the feds pay for all of it. That legislation is, is, is necessary because of a 90-10 in the original uh, uh, language. This is not unprecedented. Uh, the 100% was used in regards to the Minnesota bridge replacement. And uh, this is a commitment uh, that is normal for this type of a catastrophic loss of a major infrastructure. Despite a pledge from President Biden for Washington to foot the entire bill, Maryland's delegation isn't taking any chances, including its lone Republican, Congressman Andy Harris from the state's first district. I'm committed to working because we know that there will be legislation that's necessary in order to deal with this, in order to make sure that Maryland doesn't have to bear a cost share, to make sure that this bridge is built back better. With a wide range of reports circulating as to the price of cleaning up and rebuilding the bridge, ranging from millions of dollars to even more than a billion dollars, the truth is no one actually knows those costs just yet. But it's imperative that it's done as quickly and safely as possible. And Governor Wes Moore is personally lobbying in Washington to help ensure that happens. This has been a true coordinated effort, and we're grateful. And I just stand here as simply a representative of 6.3 million people who are not just here to say thank you, but also here to say that we are prepared to be partners in this work for the long run. The delegation says the feds must front the money to rebuild, and if the courts ultimately determine third parties owe damages, those payouts would then be returned to the taxpayers. Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.